Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel. This is going to be a new blind playthrough, this time of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. We are here on the original PlayStation 1 to play this timeless game that really was half the birth of the Metroidvania genre, uh, known as a staple game in the Castlevania series. This one is highly regarded as one of the best, if not the best, in the series. So we're going to be hopping right into it to play some Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That is my father's save file, so we're going to go ahead and pick this one smack dab in the middle. We're going to name it... Subscribe. C... Where's the R? R, I... Okay, it looks like it's the return of subscrib, actually. Here we go. Alright. So... Journey back to 1792 in the Transylvanian countryside of Romania. For those of you guys who do not know, Castlevania is a game where you explore a very large castle. Uh, we'll get into the story and whatnot in a minute, but the end goal is to defeat Dracula, who gets reborn every hundred or so years. So this family named the Belmonts have, have their whole like life's work cut out of hunting Dracula repeatedly. Sometimes you play as not a Belmont. This is a game we'll be playing as not a Belmont, so uh, we'll get into that very briefly. Uh, I do know a lot about this game, as in like the story and the characters, but I've never played it myself. I've mostly watched my dad play it. As you saw, he had a save file here. He's played this game countless times on countless platforms. So he's uh, he's sort of the source where I gathered a lot of my information, um, but I've never played it myself. I don't know the solution to where I need to go, the order of events or anything like that. So we are going to be uh, experiencing this in sort of a blind fashion. I won't know where to get the items I need or whatnot to progress. It's going to be great. As I said, I do know uh, some of the story, though, and I'll be sharing it, uh, my knowledge, as I can. All right, so this is actually not the game. This is the final stage of the previous game in the series, which is called Castlevania... Uh, I believe it's called Dracula X? No, it's it's Rondo of Blood. Or if, it's your, if you're playing in Japan, it's called Devil's Castlevania X something or other. The secret here is something I know from my dad. You can go up here to get um, items, like a dark shield and a firebrand that I can't do anything with, and a battle air. Anyway, so right now we're playing as Richter Belmont, an aforementioned Belmont. Uh, he is in the video game Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, if you were interested. He is a shadow character of Simon Belmont, who is also in the uh, in the uh, Castlevania series in the Belmont family. All right, so I'm gathering these hearts. These hearts are not health. These hearts are like item points and um, this UI isn't something to get used to. This is the UI from the previous game. This is one of the best cutscenes in video game history. I'm going to let it play out. In this world. It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute. Tribute? You steal men's souls and make them your slaves. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Absolutely perfect. I would change zero things about that. Uh, about that cutscene. I think that's okay. What is the combo to do the cool, like... I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, anyway. Yeah, they changed that cutscene in the Sega Genesis version of the game and all releases beyond that. But I have that original version fully memorized. So, I'm trying to defeat Dracula now. I don't recall- uh oh. Oh lord. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is embarrassing. There's a- there's a button com- that's the button combo I was looking for. You can do a combo to make it rain, and the rain- is massive damage because I have the holy water item in the top left corner you can see the holy water and the holy water is probably one of the best little sub weapons there in the game uh, you can clear out Dracula very quickly it costs hearts to use that ability 
but that's, you know, that's it. That's the end of, of the previous game of the series. So that's a little bit of a teaser for us to catch us up to speed. Nothing of that uh, is relevant to this game as far as like gameplay or UI because UI changes and we don't play as Richter. Anyway, it was Richter Belmont, the legendary vampire hunter who succeeded in finally ending the menace of Count Dracula, Lord of the Vampires, who had been brought back from the grave by the dark priest Shaft. However, one night four years later, under the glare of a full moon, Richter mysteriously vanished. With no idea where to begin her search, Maria Ronard set out to look for him. It was then that fate intervened. Castlevania, the castle of Dracula, which is rumored to appear once every century, suddenly materialized from out of the mist, as if to show her the way. Meanwhile, powerful forces were struggling for the soul of a man named Alucard, the very same Alucard who had teamed up with Trevor Belmont to battle his immortal father, Count Vlad Tepes Dracula. Alucard, in order to purge the world of his own cursed bloodline, had submerged his vampiric powers and entered into what was supposed to be an eternal slumber. But now, he is awake and aware of the evil once again at work in his homeland. The time has once again come for the forces of good and evil to engage in their ancient battle. Dracula's castle beckons for you, and no man can say who shall emerge victorious. That is an opening crawl I have seen many, many times, but uh, beyond this, well, there's probably about 20 minutes of gameplay after this that I have locked down because it's linear. Uh, but of course, Castlevania and uh, Metroidvania, ga Metroidvania games in general are very non-linear. They open up a lot of areas and you have to sort of remember where where you have an obstacle. Let's say like, oh, there's an ice wall here. So I need to go and get like fire breath to beat the ice wall and, and all that stuff. So we're going to be having to keep track of a lot of things and hopefully it all goes well. Like I said, this is the original PlayStation 1 version of the game, so there's no uh, quality of life improvements or anything that was added in, in previous releases. That guy sprinting through the forest is named Alucard, and he's the main character we will play as. As the title screen said, he is the son of Dracula, but he uh, lacks vampiric powers, I believe. Alright, so let's go ahead and open the menu really quickly just so I can go through this. This game is RPG-ish. There's HP, MP, heart. We level up. Heart is like a kind of the same thing as a magic meter. It's for the sub weapons. We have spells, relics, system is like the ability to see the controls. Um, I can't go. Uh oh, how do I triangle? Question mark, question mark. Window color. You can change the color of the window. That's cool. I'll leave it as blue because that's the color it gives. Sound settings. I'm going to click that into stereo. All right, here we go. Cool. So here we are. Oh, what's, oh yeah, Triangle lets you scooch back. It's pretty funny. So we are here in Dracula's castle. Oh, got hit by a zombie. Here we are. Nice. This area is very familiar to me. This opening hallway is something I've seen many a time on the TV in the living room. And we got our first level up. Nice. All right. So leveling up doesn't mean you have to like devote stats or anything it, it does it all for you bats 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 and uh chicken this is actually a pot roast a very uh, iconic item in the castlevania series because they'll just hide them in walls like we just saw and if you need to get healed start smacking some walls you might find a pot roast unlike previous castlevania games though we have an inventory system where we can actually just save that pot roast for when we need it Useful. We're also collecting money. Money's for shops. We'll see those eventually. And here we are. Another very uh, famous cutscene. Well, it's not famous, but I know it pretty well. Ah, Alucard. What is your business here? I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. We will meet again. So that right there was, uh, uh, that guy's name is Shaft, I believe? Or no, his name is Death. That was Death. Shaft was the priest. Death just took all of our items. So if we go to our equipment screen, we have nothing anymore. And all we can do is box. So we have to now box our way through the remainder of the game. Just kidding. 
We'll find items. All right, here we go. Punch. Oh, nice. All right. So now we are out sort of in the open world. There is uh, still a lot of like linear stuff we have to do here. I just picked up a short sword, by the way, um, which means... See, like, look, we can't get through here yet. Oh, no. A short sword is an item, which I can equip, and then it'll be an, our new weapon. I also picked up a neutron bomb at some point. Not sure when that happened. There we go. We have a we have a sword now. A small sword, but a sword indeed. Okay, I need to jump. And this skeleton here, I'll box him. Nice. We have the red rust, which is another sword. There are like a different hierarchies of weapons here. By the way, this is a save room. We're gonna be seeing these a lot. Uh, this is what the save animation looks like. Some weapons are objectively worse or objectively better than the others. Uh, so let's go ahead and show off the red rust here. It's a two-handed sword and it swings pretty slowly. This is me mashing the attack button. That's how fast I can swing it. Versus if I switch to the neutron bomb, or not the neutron bomb, the short sword, which has uh, an attack of five compared to an attack of nine. This is how fast I can swing that. So there's uh, sort of like a speed trade-off there. We'll have to keep in mind uh, that when we're choosing weapons. We got the cube of Zoe. The cube of Zoe is a relic, and it causes items to materialize. Don't know what that means, but I know you keep it turned on. This is what the UI actually looks like, by the way. We have our health is in the top left. Uh, this CD is Count Dracula, not Compact Disc. HP in the top left, and then that blue bar is MP, and the heart meter below is for sub-weapons. Alright, there we go. Sub-weapons, which we don't have yet. I'm also kind of getting, like, obliterated right now. Get him! There we go. Nice. Cool. Some money. I believe you can jump over this and get the Hide Curious. Or whatever that might be. That is some defense. By the way, there are very few items that change Alucard's appearance. Um, mostly capes change the appearance. And then also the, the look of the weapon you're swinging changes appearance. Um, perfect, gotta level up. I know I'm the kind of person to have a game and not want to equip items if they make my character look stupid. So oftentimes, if games don't give me the option to turn off, like, helmets, I, I just won't use a helmet. We got a shield now. As you can see, it, it blocks I, if you're fast enough to use it. There we go. Ooh, two for one special. Okay, that looks like a progress. I'm going to not try and grind levels, by the way. I think I technically could grind them. I pressed the circle button. There we go. Yeah, oh, this is like an axe armor, I think is what that's called. Nice block. Perfect. I think later on we'll get an item that tells us what we're attacking. But I'm not sure. Okay. Oh. Why isn't that going up? Oh. Oh, I get it. Hold on. Yeah, okay. So we can set the bones down there. When you defeat these red skeletons, they drop only for a moment. And then eventually they will stand back up. Oh, darn. Oh, walk back over. Bones guy. I had the idea. Mm, it's not going to work. What I wanted to do... I'm going to try it one more time. Just because I'm curious. What I want to do... Walk all the way over. Perfect. No. Over. Oh, what's through here? Save room. When you save, your health gets healed, by the way. There we go. All right. I want to get the skeleton to become bones on the pressure plate. And then I think if I'm skilled enough, I could time a jump to where I get on the elevator. Okay, are you not going to do what I ask? I'm just going to scooch. Can I not scoot by you? What if I do my backwards dash? Backwards dash. Nope. Okay, let's just heal again. Let's just be done. That's not going to work for us. All right. Moving on. Yeah, see, he can he can make it go up a little bit. We, whatever. Let's move on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can you guys tell I'm not uh, I'm not an experienced player? I don't know what I'm doing. Should I could jump higher. 
Did I hit that shield block? That's pretty important. There we are. Alright. I pressed... You know what? We're going to jump over these guys. We're just going to continue forth. Alright. So here we are exploring Dracula's castle. Hey, we got, um... What is that? We got one of the sub-weapons. That's the knife. You just throw it, like, really fast. Okay, it's another skeleton. Resist thunder. Sounds like a potion. that, Or looks like a potion, and it sounds like it makes us resist thunder. I think we hit select. Yeah, if we hit select, we get a map of the castle, which is kind of cool. The harsh white lines mean it's a wall. The little dashes in those walls mean doors. And anything that's just empty blue, that means uh, unexplored. Currently unexplored, I guess I should say. I guess we'll explore it eventually. Just because it's not explored right now doesn't mean it will forever be unexplored. This is bad. That was dumb. That was really dumb. I can get him. That was also kind of dumb. I keep thinking I can, like, get the block fast enough if I hit the shield button, but there's, like, a delay between hitting the shield button and getting the the defense buff, so I'll have to remember that as I continue forth. Alright. E. I don't know what those little skeleton bats are, but I know I want nothing to do with them. Another save room, very generous. I think on the map, save rooms are red. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, Let's perhaps go another room or two over, and then we will call it a first episode. This game is not a game to really uh, hold your hand with the guidance, so let's see if we go in here. Oh... I don't think I want to go in there, actually. I think my my memory is tingling, and I don't think I want to go in there. Maybe we'll go in there at the start of the next episode. Let's check what this room is over here, though. This is a doorway, and there appears to be a wall that is magically sealed. Alright, so it looks like that will be the end of the video for today, then, because I don't want to progress into that next room. I do not think it is necessarily the safest room to progress into. So that's going to be all for now, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe, and tell your friends on my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys my videos around. I will catch you guys all back here next time for the next episode of my blind playthrough of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Until then, as always, take care.